so let's get started. So good morning. My name is Abuza. I'm the success manager. So I'm having this stand for the first time in this batch. So um, let me congratulate you guys for for your admission into our intensive program batch six. So giving this stand up. So that's the introduction. So I have some questions to make on my own end. So yesterday I sent a broadcast to the broadcast panel regarding the grid game film M4 that's already on the Google Classroom. So I would like to always ensure you make use of the format appropriate. So in case anytime you will return your, your scores and you are not comfortable with it, the score you have kindly make use of the form and you are going to address the issue as appropriate. Also, there are some conditions that surrounds the usage of the form. So let us ensure we adhere to those conditions. Also, uh, we had our first submission deadline yesterday, the interim submission yesterday, and uh, we again received some submissions and some uh, some training submitted dates. This is just the first week, and we still have uh, 11 more weeks to go. So, which means we should try to show our commitments from the beginning of the program and be considering uh, that. Like. So, it's. Can you hear me, Sorry, please? Uh, we can't hear you properly. There's conference in the chat box. Would you please maybe work on your mic? You can hear me clearly. We can hardly hear you. Like, uh, I, don't, I think maybe it's your mic or something. Can hardly hear me. Okay, okay, okay. So can you hear me now? Yeah, for now. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Thank you. So as I was saying, it's about the submission we had yesterday. Yesterday was our first submission and uh, we did receive some submissions and some training submitted leads. So this is the first week of the training, and uh, we will ensure all assignments to be submitted uh, duly. And uh, because this part of lead submission, we are, I, I think uh, you are aware of our lead submission policy. So any lead submission will be will be downgraded. Yeah. So also, Emily, I don't know if you have any other announcement from your end. And maybe anything academic team has some announcement for me to come on to this uh to the topics. Emily and I yeah. Hello. How are you? It's Maureen. Uh I see that Emilian has just left the meeting. Okay. Yeah, um I just wanted to remind everyone on Today we're having a careers tutorial at 1030 UTC. So just to have people <coughs> join in at that time. That's all from my side. Okay. Thank you, Maureen. So that is that from my own end. So let me go to our updates. So we have uh, three submissions ahead of us. We have two career submission and one final submission for technical challenge. So who is going first? Just yes, there is not your hand. It's coming here from you. Yeah, hello everyone. Uh, good morning. I, I would like to notice something about the about the classroom. You said that the you said that the due time is already converted. And uh, I think mine was wrong. Normally it's uh, H UTC and my country it is UTC plus one, so it was supposed was supposed to be 9 p.m. but uh, I saw 10, 9, I saw yesterday 10 or 9.59. So I think that the due day was wrong on my, uh, my side. I don't know why, but uh, I have submitted my assignments early. But I, 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 ju I, I just want to notice that for you. Okay, this is about our timing. Uh, for time on Google Classroom, is is already converted to your own time zone. You understand? The original time zone is nine 
is 8 p.m. Sorry, 8 p.m. UTC plus one hour, which I say 9 p.m. UTC. But you won't uh, you won't convert it to your own time zone anymore because because Google Classroom will have converted it to your own uh time zone. You just have to you just have to comply with the time zone shown on your on your home page. So you don't need to convert to any other time zone. Is that okay? Just yes. Yes, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. So one boy is from the post. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you clearly. Um, okay, so uh, for the stand-up, I wanted to say that I made the submission, both of them yesterday. I'm not a fan of the slides, like a lot. Um, and uh, for today, uh, what I'm working on is trying to modularize my code so that it's a bit more reusable because right now it's not very reusable um yeah and then the other tasks that's it okay thank you and for that update so the kid can we hear from you okay hello everyone can you hear me yeah okay. can you clearly uh so uh uh, starting from Monday, uh, I have been working on the task one. Uh, I've managed to finish the data cleaning early, but working on task one was uh, very challenging. Uh, so I have submitted the assignment, uh, but it is a lot to work, and uh, you may not be not be sure uh, how much is required. And uh, uh, I have tried to do my best. Uh, today I am working on task two, uh, because I've, I started it doing uh, this morning, because I have to do uh, so early, because we have many tasks, many things to finish, and I'm trying to cope up with the schedule. That's it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Gigaga. And also, if you are facing any challenges, please, you can always reach out on Slack. There are lot of those online to help you out, and we have some trainees that are always there to help also. And don't let us forget, uh, when you are trying to solve your technical challenge, you also have to work on your career challenges also, so, so that you'll be able to submit the two uh, submissions duly. So Jonas, let's hear from you, please. Jonas. OK. OK. How are you, everyone? Uh, good morning. Uh, we had a very fun time on making jokes during our community building session yesterday. Really, really, some guys were funny. I understand that technology people are not only work people, but also can make entertain and make people happy. Uh, besides that, the past few days have been very uh, decisive and important for me uh, because of I've been uh, reading and deeply uh, investigating about every steps, procedures, and workers done in exploratory data analysis. Uh, after that, I uh, performed the given task one by starting on identifying the relevant strategy or meta just for filling, for filling the missing data sets. And uh, it, it was also very challenging. However, I, I tried to fix by uh, using of the skewness of missing data set. Uh, follow that, I tried to answer the rest subtasks one query. Uh, then finally, I prepared PowerPoint slides that describes and shows the result of the given task one. Uh, now I was able to submit the presentation on time. I am currently working on the other tasks after completing the task one. That's all. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Jonas, and thank you for commending the CBS session. And that's one of the objectives of the CBS session to have a formidable community so that you can always reach out and build, a, build our network from there because, you know, 
we are all uh, from different parts of Africa, so and with different uh, culture. So coming together in the CBS is something we are uh, so passionate about. And uh, that's really good updates from you and your technical challenge and all that. So, uh, yes, Abney. Yes, Abney, can you unmute yourself? And give us uh, a good morning, everyone. Uh, good morning. Uh, yesterday, I was working on uh, uh data ada and uh, most probably on uh, pca and uh, i tried to 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 uh, prepare slides for uh, the report and uh, I, I have started reading uh, one book from uh, for 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 pca but uh, I'm still going on that, and today I will do on uh, modeling and uh, actually training uh, the model. Yesterday and including today, I am challenged with uh, identifying the principal components and uh, totally on dimensionality reduction and uh, producing neat data. So uh, I, I, I appreciate if, if someone can help me on uh, uh, dimensionality reduction as a well, uh, because I'm confusing that uh, the results from PCA can't, can't, can't um, show me that uh, this parameter is uh, principal and that is not, uh, or like something like that. So I'm still reading on that. Uh, the first challenge is uh, this one and the second challenge was i was confusing on the report format uh, I, that i have prepared yesterday but uh, i tried my best to do as as, as much as i understand but i appreciate uh, if the academy team suggests us uh, some guideline for uh, the reporting format thank you uh thank you yes Abney. And uh, about your so first challenge, you can reach out on Slack. You can post the challenge you have on Slack with one channel. So I want to probably reach out to you or any training that uh, has the idea of what you are trying to solve. So about the format of the or the template for our report. So report are meant to be in PDF. You want to we are making slide you can convert it to PDF before you submit. And uh, about the format you want to follow. Uh, there are different formats to follow, but on our home side, our home side, we've highlighted some key points we need you to show in your slide. If you read the challenge documents, you'll see the deliverables we are expecting from you in your single slide. So, because we already have a rebook for your to assess your submission, so you just have to go through the challenge you see the, what you are supposed to be in this in this slide is already in the challenge document just follow it you can use this you can use the design and ensure you convert your uh your slides to pdf before you submit so well moving forward we can consider having a format so the standard format in our hand for every uh slide submission so thank you for that uh so uh build uh Uma, you let me from you is Uma. I can't pronounce the first name. Hello, everybody. Hello, good morning. What is the yeah, pronunciation of your first name? Kurtukwan. Okay, okay, okay. Let's come here. Yeah. So can you give us a update? Okay. Uh, yesterday, uh, I did manage to submit uh, my assignment on time, and uh, I was working on the data exploration and transformation. Uh, I wrote the interim report uh, based on the interpret uh, based on the uh, data exploration I've got. Uh, I interpret and explain the results. And uh, I, I had uh, some confusions, but I did uh, ask my colleagues from the training on Slack, and I got uh, a good uh, feedback from them and uh, I did it and today uh, I will be working on uh, data modeling and uh, other tasks 
and also I will work on the career exercise and that's my plan for today. Thank you. Okay, that's is a Kuma and uh, I'm glad to hear that you were able to get the solutions to your challenges from other trainees. Uh, that's impressive to hear. So is on the next is lesson from you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, yesterday was a bit challenging for me. Uh, the the schedule was very tight to complete uh, all of the tests, but I uh, I just submitted uh, before the deadline all of the, my assignments before the deadline. And today I'm going to be working on test two, and also I haven't fully finished test one, so I'm going to be cleaning up cleaning up some things and finishing up the remaining tests. And I'm also going to be working on the career exercises. So that's my plan for today. It has great. It's good to hear that you'll be working on your career because no, not, no other people knows any public on the career submission yet. And it's also part of the assessment. So let's try to work on that also alongside our technical challenge. So I did just laser from you. Good morning, guys. Uh, good morning. Uh, my yesterday was uh, it was pretty straightforward. I was working on task one throughout, and I got to submit on time. Both the GitHub link and, and my report. Do I made a little mistake of? Um, not allocating enough time for the report. So I won't do that again. I thought it, it wouldn't take me that much time. I, I allocated like two hours, but uh, when it comes to, it, it's not, you know, it's not just written design is there too. So I couldn't finish it satisfactorily. I submitted like that. Um, uh, we can't underestimate the the kind of value we get on on the Slack channel. We, we re, I really needed to give it to you guys. That's so that's pretty much the summary of my yesterday. Well, thank you, Adijat, and thank you for the recommendation of the Slack inputs. So, uh, for my own end, I would try to I would like to advise on some challenges because at times we used to underestimate some tasks that yeah you are not you know to design a slide and all but the one thing is to get your content you want to put in your slide and another thing is your formatting formatting can even take more time than you know uh than the content so let's try to always try to schedule our week ahead so that you know if by this time i should assign two three hours to this particular task I should be able to complete it because working under pressure will never give you the best results, you know. But if you can work ahead, you get uh, the best value you can get from the work. You give the, you get the best quality from the work, and uh, so that's that. So, Gebisa, Behano, this is a from you. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, yesterday, I was I was working on. The task one continues from the uh, Thursday. Uh, in the morning, I try to finish uh, finish the task one, and I uh, analyze what I can uh, done. Uh, in the after the session, I try to uh, interpret the my task one on the slides, and uh, after that, I try to submit what I can done. But I'm not sure. I'm not uh, complete. I I can I I couldn't complete the uh, task one precisely. And today I'm starting work on the task two as uh, user engagement, and uh, I try to communicate the. I I also communicate the peer mentoring with one you. Uh, that was also amazing, uh, and I'm uh, looking forward uh, to work on the. Task two. That's all. Uh, the the other the challenge also have uh, some challenge in the yesterday GitHub issue that I'm asking on the uh, Slack and I got the solution also. That was all about the yesterday. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you for the updates, Kevisa. So it's glad to hear you are making progress. And also in the chat, we have uh, Gennett uh, giving an update in the chat. Sorry about your laptop. And uh, she's asking if she can receive some help to you know, support her and model. So Gennett, you can reach out on Skype with one. And you'll surely see uh, some responses on your on the challenges. You can just put, copy and paste this in your in our class start channel with one. So sorry about that on your laptop. Uh, we hope to receive your submission. So it's actually it's for you to receive that. So um, Ms. Hirat, is this it from you? Okay. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you clearly. Okay, good. Uh, so uh, yesterday uh, I, I was doing on uh, Data ED, I finished the explanatory data analysis. After that, I have done user overview analysis and uh, uh, try to identify top 10 uh, handset used by the customer as well as top 3 handset manufacturers. Uh, and uh, I made short interpretation the recommendation for marketing teams. Uh, today, I'm going to do a user engagement analysis, and uh, uh, that's it. And uh, uh, also, I'm doing on non-technical uh, assignment for today on uh, real job, three real job, uh, this, and uh, that's it. Okay, thank you for your help, with my threats. So. And we also have uh, hot seats after this session, so let's try to prepare our questions ahead of the hot seats. So, Johannes, please raise your hand. Johannes. Yes, thank you for having me. Uh, yesterday, I tried to submit the given task uh, after um, the many challenges. Finally, I submit the uh, Task one and the, the interim reports. Today I try to understand the carer task, uh, but I still I need uh, some clarification from the group. Uh, this is my question. Uh, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your honest for making up this work. See, I don't know. We still have some some trainings that are not so comfortable in sending messages on Slack. Slack is a community where we are all learning. So we are facing a challenge. You've tried everything in your capacity and it's not working out for you. Just reach out on Slack and just that will save you time and stress. So, uh, Mr. you are still raising up your hand. Do you have any other thing to say? Mr. Okay, let's move on to El Michael. El Michael. Uh, good morning, guys. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Really. Okay. Uh, yesterday, uh, I was working on task one, uh, which helps us to understand our data way more. Uh, and yesterday, I worked on uh, aggregations of some data. Uh, I worked on basic data metrics like mean, median, and descriptions of statistical descriptions of our data uh, and also I conduct non graphical and graphical analysis of uh, our data uh, and then uh, I worked on correlation matrix uh, and uh, in the task one uh, the dimensionality reduction is left so today uh, I will work on uh, that which is PCA, and also uh, today I will continue working on task two. Uh, yesterday uh, I was able to submit for the interim report and the link uh, to my GitHub, my GitHub repository. Uh, yeah, this is it. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, Omeka, for the updates. 
So please, uh, you know, with this session, cannot we can't have the opportunity to, to speak in this session. Please, you can use the chat box to give us your updates. Uh, okay. I'm going to read that. So, Antina, there's a friend. Antina, yes, hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. So, uh, yesterday I was, uh, pretty much working on the EDA, uh, the exploratory data analysis. So I was able to generate uh, uh, different plots and insights uh, for both the unique variant and bivariant analysis. So both on the uh, uh, notebooks on my GitHub and also the entry reports which are on those slides. So maybe the slides are kind of uh, missing some insights, but I was able to actually submit uh, before the deadline. So uh, today uh, uh, I will work on the rest of the tasks and also uh, the, the career exercise. Uh, so thank you. Hello, can you hear me, please? Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah sure, can you hear me? Hello? Hello, is is everything right? I think maybe uh, some people lost the internet, but uh, we can keep it on. Maybe Maureen, can you take over? Maybe I think uh, Abdullah lost the internet. Yes, Abdullah. It seems like maybe this internet issue on his part. Oh, he, he says he's on. Yes, Sabne. Okay, so <clears throat> would you like to go further and talk with, are you able to speak now? Yeah, can you hear me now? Yes, we can. We can hear you. Yeah. You can so, uh, I'm not sure like where the connection actually starts. So I'm going to uh, let go again. So uh, yesterday, uh, I was uh, working on the the EDA, so the yes. exploratory data analysis. So I was actually able to uh, generate uh, different plots and insights uh, uh, on my uh, on uh, on like uh, the univariant and bivariant analysis, so uh, uh, so both on the the notebooks uh, on my GitHub and on the slides. So uh, the slides are still uh, kind of actually missing some insights, but I was actually able to include all the the results that I got, uh, and also I was able to submit before the deadline. So uh, today. Uh, 
I will be working on the rest of the tasks and also the, the clear exercise. So, thank you. Okay, that's great. That is good that you're catching up. Um, thank you for sharing, Antenna. So, uh, Emmanuel, would you like to unmute yourself and share? Yes, good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm um, good. So, uh, what I planned was to finish half of the tasks uh, by yesterday, as it is midweek, uh, but due to uh, power outage and uh, inconsistent internet, I couldn't do much. Mm, I'm not uh, satisfied with the, the test I wrote for the pre-processing and cleaning script. Uh, it was modularized and written, uh, written uh, separately. Uh, but I'm uh, comfortable with what I've done with uh, the user overview analysis. Uh, that includes the exploratory data analysis. Uh, but uh, the engagement analysis was uh, somehow messy. Uh, more or less, I, man I managed to submit the Python code base in the slide, the PowerPoint. Uh, I'm not also sure about uh, the formats in standard fonts that I should have used uh, in the slides. Uh, nevertheless, I'm here to learn, so uh, I think I'm doing good. And for the rest of the week, uh, I plan to work on uh, mm, the last two parts of the project, the uh, user experience in satisfaction analysis. And uh, finally, uh, I will try to prepare a dashboard for the Python project, the Python application, uh, to visualize it in a good way. Uh, for, Hello. Yes, we can hear you very clearly. Uh, it's great to know that you guys <clears throat> are doing your best to catch up and understand. So that that's good job, Emmanuel. That's that's good. But if you're having any difficulties, please feel free to um, Slack um, your tutors and will, even yourselves. You can just um, ask each other questions where you're not sure. You can guide each other. I'm sure most yes, of will. you. Yes, I will ever um, is uh, so helpful. I find yeah. I found everybody helpful. Yeah. And I want to thank everybody for that. Yeah. So, thank you, Emmanuel. So, Messaret, you can go ahead and and mute yourself and share. Masarat, you can unmute yourself and share. Okay, so um, Nahom, you can go ahead as we wait for Masarat. Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, yesterday was a challenge for me. Uh, as I might be, as I might be as I didn't submit on time. Uh, I was working on task one as only yesterday and it took uh, more of my time my my time than uh, I hoped for. Uh, I had to step back from working on the codes and uh, try to read and refer some resources. Uh, but I managed to submit the GitHub link uh, by making the univariate and multivariate analysis and uh, plotting some uh, plots. Uh, as I'm working on the slides, uh, the power cut off, uh, and uh, it came around 50 minutes after the deadline passed, I think. Uh, and uh, I finally completed the slides and submit after uh, the deadline has passed. Yeah, yeah. 
and it was a bit disappointing. Uh, today, I'll be working on some issues. I also faced facing uh, on task one uh, and the remaining tasks. Thank you. Thank you, Nahon. Thank you for sharing. It's great that you guys are catching up and doing a good job. So we can have um, Zelalem. You can unmute yourself and share. Go ahead. The floor Hello, is guys. Low. Can you hear me? Can you hear yes. me? Yes. Yes, you can uh, hear me. Yes, yes Rhoda, it's a, a little bit uh, challenging. And uh, I was working on uh, user overview analysis, including uh, the univariance, bivariance analysis of data volumes of users, user application, including email, Google, social media, Netflix, and uh, gaming. And today I'm working on the other tasks. Thank you, guys. Um, thank you, Zalalam, for sharing. That's good. Um, Nat Nile, you can unmute yourself and go ahead and share. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, okay, good morning. Uh, yesterday and the past two two days were very challenging, even copy, coping up with the uh, ideas and the right methodologies was a little bit hard and also as everybody said uh, finding the right format and the right method to submit your our report was hard uh, but I think everybody managed to submit and also I managed to submit and today I'll be working on the career and the task too. Okay, that's great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we have <clears throat> also Masresha who is not able to speak, but on the chats, um, he's uh, talking about that. <clears throat> um, his, uh, the progress <clears throat> of his work is satisfying. However, could not write a unit test for the whole functions and he thinks that would be the main thing he missed from the previous task. And so you guys, if you are not understanding anything, if you're not understand what you're doing, if you're missing something, please um, go ahead and just like someone that you think will be able to assist you so that you don't miss out on something. This is a learning, <coughs> great learning opportunity. So we are here to support you and make sure that you understand that whatever it is that you're learning, you know, you get the grasp, the content, and so that you'll be able to put it on your work in the future, it becomes a skill. Yeah, so <clears throat> I see that time is running. And if you have anything further to maybe comment or add on, um, you can raise your hand, or if you guys are good, we can wrap this up. I'd also like to remind you that today we're having a careers exercise at 10.30. Uh, it's, on, <clears throat> it's about peer mentoring. So please join in so that you get to learn and also <clears throat> be able to do the exercise because we are also having our deadlines which are on Friday and Saturday. Um, other than that, I wish you all a lovely day and um abdullahi or somebody from the chain academy you can go ahead and speak uh, okay uh, thank you Maureen. this is cgr uh, i just mm -hmm. uh, want to give an update on something also an announcement uh, to make uh, i think before giving the announcement uh, i saw in the morning a uh, feedback given on slack i think it was by mohammed uh, just to make things clear on the deliverables in the tasks that you are going to work both for the interim submission and the, for the final submission. Maybe let me just share my screen and... Uh, can you guys see my screen? Yes, of course. Okay, uh, thank you. So uh, there are tutorial sessions uh, uh, every day, but what you are going to deliver or what you are what you guys 
are supposed to work are based on the tasks that are given. So for task one, it's on user overview analysis and for task and task one has subtasks, task one point one, one point two, and so on. And there are multiple tasks that you guys have to work on. So for the interim submission and for the final submission, what you guys have to look first or when you are reading the document, what you guys have to look first is you'll have to go to the deliverables. So there is a section which is the deliverables that you'll have to deliver. And for the interim submission, it states clearly that for the report, you will be uh, writing a report based on the analysis that, or the insights that you got from task one. So task one has subsections or sub subtasks. So after implementing task one, after you uh, work on the user overview analysis, that's what you are going to write for the report as well as for the GitHub submissions. This will be similar for the uh, challenge that will be given in the coming weeks as well. And the only part or the only section that you have to see or you have to clearly understand uh, are first, you will have to see the deliverables, what are, what's required for you to deliver for the interim submission and the final submission. And based on the deliverables, you, you have to go to the tasks that you have to implement or work on. And that will be the only required ones for the interim and the final submission. The start sessions might not be exactly accordingly to the day that you are going to work on. For example, the first tutorial session for this week was on uh, normalization, standardization, and some cleaning uh, of the data. But mostly, you will almost every time you'll uh, first work on exploratory data analysis, then you'll make some kind of preprocessing or cleaning of your data, then might come the EDA part again. So just follow the tutorial sessions as a heads up or as some kind of help, but for, try to focus on the tasks that you are going to work on based on the challenge documents given. Uh, but please, if you have any further questions, feel free to ask on the Slack channel and we'll be there to assist. Uh, and uh, the, the announcement that we have is starting for tomo from tomorrow. One of the goals of the Academy is to make you job ready for uh, after three months of the training. And being job ready is requires you both the technical and the non-technical part. So you guys are already working on the technical challenges and the non-technical career assignments and uh, some other things. Uh, but starting from tomorrow, we, we are planning to give you an assessment or a contents based on uh, data structures and algorithms and a scale. So data structures and algorithms and the scale will not only prepare you for uh, job interviews, but it will be also an important part of your career uh, it doesn't matter where you are working on, it might be in the data science field, data engineering field, wave three, or any other field, but these are really essential, especially SQL, if you are working as a data engineer in the future or now. SQL is the primary skill that most recruiters or most companies are looking for. In data structures and algorithms, we are seeing that most companies are requiring the DSA challenge before even uh, coming to the interview phase for any kind of job. And also for your actual job, this is something that you will uh, really need to work on or focus uh, on the time that you have. So on tomorrow, we will be giving you a contest. It will be on a platform before the contest will give you some kind of demo, how you are going to use it and how you are going to practice. So we just want to tell you that you have to prepare yourself not only on the challenges, but you have to go out of the uh, limits that you are required to because out there in the industry, people are requiring more talented people and we are sure that this challenge will make you ready and uh, the data structure and algorithm as well as the SQL challenge will be uh, of a big help for you guys. So uh, we'll announce that on the Slack channel as well, but just want to let you guys understand that. Uh, okay, Johannes. Is that the question, Johannes? Yeah. I need more clarification on the carer, uh, uh, the job. Um, okay. That's it. Uh, oh, 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 uh, is it regarding the carer assignment or? Yeah. Mm, okay, maybe is there someone from the carer team to answer that? Um, sorry, come again. 
Okay, Johannes, can you forward your question again? Yeah, on the assignment, uh, the three educator jobs. Mm -hmm. I need a more clarification on that. Okay, so um, I will put you on Slack and just guide you. Okay, is that okay? Okay, Hans. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, okay great. So for tomorrow, the questions are going to be really easy. They are the easiest one was the Python data structure and algorithm challenge as well as the SQL. But in the coming weeks, we'll try to increase the difficulty level and we'll try to challenge more because uh, on the actual industry or when you're working on a job, you'll be required to write an efficient algorithm or an efficient code that will perform the task uh, really well. So both SQL and DSA are required. Uh, and just think of that while we are still working on the challenge. Johannes, is that related to the DSA and SQL? No, how about uh, the submission? Uh, okay. Okay, bye. You can see? Yes, let's go. Uh, regarding the final submission, should we submit the link again? I mean, it's all the same. Is that necessary on the final submission? We have already submitted the link to our repository. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Uh, regarding the final submission. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. So are we supposed to to submit the link again? We have already submitted uh, for the interim submission, the link to our repository. Uh, should we, we just include the screenshot of the dashboard or the link to our deployment? The rest is already submitted. Okay, I'm not sure. Of course, we'll add uh, the codes. Uh, okay. Can you come again, Johannes? I'm sorry, I didn't get back here. Okay, uh, let me clarify it. So it's just on the final submission on the delivery. One of the delivery. Hold on now. Your mic is not ready. Okay, hello. Okay, now we can't hear you. You might your mic isn't uh, very clear, but go on. We'll How about now? How are you? Yes, you are a devil, but your mic isn't uh, clear enough. Oh, I'm really sorry. I can fix it right now. Okay. Uh, maybe you can also type that on the chat. Uh, under that, you can go uh, until you want to type it in the chat. Okay. My question is, uh, can, can you tell us on what platform are we going to be working on the SQL and DSA challenges? Uh, the, the platforms we are will be announcing that in the Slack channel, but it will be similar to the platforms that most companies will be using for give, to give the challenge straight to APDC and SQL. Uh, the most basic platform is the lead code, but to give you a contest and some kind of challenge will make it more suitable for for the academy's uh, uh, challenge. So we'll try to use a platform that will suit us or that will meet our need. Uh, but it will be similar in terms of the questions and the type of challenge that you are going to work on. It will be really similar to the challenges that are given on lead code, codeality, or similar platforms. Okay, thank you. Okay, but we'll announce that later. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you guys. Sorry if I took your time. Over to you, Emily. Really. All right, thank you, thank you, everyone. So, how are you guys? Are you ready for hot seat today? Let me see your excitement. Are you really ready? Yes, from the chat box. All right, all right, thank you very much. So, uh, I will ask the hot seater today to open your video and can open your mic for you to be ready with the questions. But before we start, uh, I will also ask from the people like. If you're ready with your question, just raise up your hand then I'll mention your name. So the hot seat of today is Anne Alexander. Please open your mic and your video. Hello, good morning everyone. The hot seat will be really hotter today, right? Yeah, so yeah. So if you're ready with your question, please raise up your hand then uh, I'll mention your name then you ask your hot question. Okay. Let's yeah. go. Uh, just one disclaimer though, uh, 
as Margaret said, remember you be the next one. So <laughs> I'm not afraid of you. Yes, we have the first question. Uh, please. No, 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 so is the seed that hot? Uh, both of you have been saying it will be our time. Of course, we are not scared. Is it that hot? Uh, we'll see that. We haven't started yet. Okay, so if make you have to hot. see between... I think you have to make it hot. Polygamy. Polyandry or polygamy. There's no monogamy. Just, you just have to choose. Which one would you choose? Okay, uh, monogamy or polygamy? Polyhandry or polygamy? If you had to choose between the two, which one would you choose? I'm not aware. I mean, I, I don't, I know polygamy is like multiple marriage, but I don't know the other one. Can you clarify okay. that? Okay, it's one wife, multiple husbands. Okay, uh, yeah, polygamy is one, one with multiple wife or a husband. Uh, the other is? The other is one wife, multiple husbands. One wife and multiple husbands. I'll, I'll prefer polygamy, maybe. What <laughs> 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 like it's, it's, that's how it's, as, uh, I don't have a, all right. an option though. Like it's choosing between like two worst things. <laughs> I'm I'm a fan of okay. polygamy though. Okay, okay that's the not. next person. Bihanu, your hot question. Hello, good morning, Andonet. Good morning. Uh, tell us uh, one secret you have uh, hid, uh, hidden from your friends. Thank you. What, what, one, what, come again, please. Tell us one secret you have uh, hidden from your friends. Secret. Yeah. Secret. Uh, <laughs> that, that's spicy. <laughs> it's very difficult to say it off the uh, top of my head right now, but. <laughs> I don't really remember. I will get back to you. Maybe just I'll just, I'll just write it down. Okay, fine. Pass is uh, a route if you're not ready to answer. It's fine. So let's hear from Everest. What's your biggest fear? My biggest fear. That's a good question. My biggest fear would be an if not being able to uh, perform to my potential, you know, like not be able to uh, reach out to my goals. That would be my biggest fear. So I strive forward to like making every day better to reach my goals. Amazing. We have Emmanuel, your hot question, please. Uh, before there's also before questions on the chat too uh well which shall which row should i go like uh can i mix it up for yeah i'm sorry for interruption people are testing the chat box i would love maybe if you can open your mic i mean you can raise up your hand then i will give you a space to speak so i will just yeah, be yeah. mentioning that yeah. cool. so let's go with emmanuel uh good morning again come on uh, I'm thrilled with your uh, previous answer. That's so yeah, hard for me. You. I'm happy thank about you. that. Um, my question is, uh, what uh, what are you most attracted to in a woman? In a woman, there. What do you find okay. more, um, most attractive? Most in, in, in body feature or personality wise? Uh, one from both. We'd like to hear one from both. Okay, uh, personality, uh, a girl or a woman who has a dream that's so uh, attractive to me, uh, uh, a girl who has a goal, a dream, uh, she uh, like die for. And in physically, I'm more into eyes, face, hair. I'm, I'm more into that thing. I can imagine. <laughs> But if I have to choose, I would say her face. No, uh, I hope you're being honest. Uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, I'm honest. 
but I know like uh, mo mo most of the guys are into the bottom part of it. Of it okay. but, uh, but I'm not going in that route. Okay, nice. Okay, but we have Mekonin. Mekonin. Uh, hello, Andana. Hello, Hello. Uh, okay. Uh, did you remember the first day you touched computer or you see, you see computer? I, I do remember, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah. Do you want me to tell you what, what was my experience? Or... Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, I think it was back in grade, uh, uh, four or five at school and it, it was, I was so pumped to like touch it and play around with it and I don't like have a very vivid memory of it so I can't say much but like uh, I'm, I've always been to take uh, since I was a little boy so uh, seeing or touching the first computer was very like enjoyable and the first computer I got uh, uh, on my own computer is when I was grade seven or eight ish. And it was also like very uh, happy moments of my life. Yeah. Uh, can I add more questions? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a quick one, a quick one, please. Okay. Uh, We're running out of minutes. Okay. Uh, what, what makes you decide to join? Uh, this department software uh, are you you are a background from software yes 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 okay uh, yeah. okay uh i've always been to like take and i i started programming uh i i won't call it programming but web development uh, just in high school uh, and prior to that i was just dabbling with like html and css uh, so like i was sure when i uh, reached uh, university to university like i was sure that i'm going to be going in the route of software engineering or computer science so that it was easy uh decision for me to make okay i think maybe you answered so let's just do it faster because we have little time here we have uh Yasabne. please make it quick in very very few seconds with the hot question then you'll be followed by Wangui. Thank you. Uh, 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 and um, have you have you ever think of that you are not yourself? If so, why? And if not, why? I, I've always tried to be uh, myself. Like I don't try to be. I don't, I don't want to try act like I'm not. I'm something. I'm someone that I'm not. So I've never felt that before. Uh, yeah, that, that's the answer to your question. Okay, uh, Wangui, if you answer the question, Wangui, then you'll be followed by Gennett. Uh, hi, uh, my question is simple. I just wanted to know if you are short-sighted or long-sighted, and if so, what the power of your glasses are. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I am uh, short-sighted, uh, but, like, it's very, very little. I mean, I can uh, just, uh, uh, I can just, uh, no, I can choose not to use the, the, the glasses. I just prefer to use, my, it's just minor right right thank you uh two more people then we end up our uh, policy today we have nahom then we'll be followed by Nathanael. seems like i did have one more question i don't know but let's hear from nahom first then we'll check out okay good morning under that good morning now uh, okay my question is uh, what is the one thing you do or uh, probably will do that might get you in jail thank you uh, 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 okay, yeah, I, I've always been into uh, uh, hacking, but the ethical hacking, but 
I might be tempted to hack uh, some government or like uh, uh, restricted infrastructures and get jail into it because of that. But yeah, that's it. So it might okay. be time to arrest you right now. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's end by Nathaniel. Nathaniel, please, your hot question. Uh, hello, Andrew. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Uh, my question is uh, what do you think makes you unique from among uh, 7 billion people in the world? What is your unique feature from among them? Uh, I mean, it's a very difficult question to answer, honestly. But I would say uh, uh, we all have different uh, eye uh, shape, so our retina is uh, different. So my, I would say my retina or my fingerprint. Okay. But uh, some personality-wise, uh, I don't know. Like, <laughs> it's a very hard question to answer. All right, all right. Before we end, there's some hot question in the chat box that I won't leave behind. What's your favorite thing about yourself, both physically and non-physical? Can you answer that? Okay, my favorite thing about myself physically is uh, my hair. I love my hair. Uh, personally, I I have big dreams. I'm a dreamer, and I'm also like into so many different things. So I like researching, learning new things. That's the thing I love about myself. Okay. Yeah. All right, so my question, I can't end up this whole seat without asking you my question. Uh, have you ever gone on a date? If yes, how was it? How was the experience? If not, no, why? I, I haven't. So why? Uh, why? 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 Maybe it's because I am a developer. There's a stereotype in the You're busy. <laughs> uh, maybe, You're busy yeah. Yeah. Maybe, right, uh, I haven't found the lucky one. Okay. Maybe yeah. I know if I get one. Really? <laughs> yes. All right. So uh, I think we can end up uh, our course today. But before we close the call, uh, maybe let's hear from the people here. Like, what did you learn from Andernet? Like, what did you manage to learn from him? Just one or two people to share. Then we also hear from Andernet. What did you learn? Maybe so. Any any person to share? Sadne, yes. Mm, I, I, I think uh, I guess uh, Andernet is fast learner and. Uh, Deep think, I think. Am I right? I guess so. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay. It seems like Margaret raised up her hand. I don't know. Okay. Margaret, please. A few um, seconds. I think I'd describe him as modest and uh, focused. Thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, so, Annette, what did you learn from this? Like, feeling actually, uh, how feeling uh, after hot seat? Yeah, the seat gets hotter and hotter as you progress. But like, uh, as an experience, I really loved it. Uh, I really enjoyed it. So uh, it's uh, in the previous uh, the previous hot seat, my grade. Of course, like we get to know her a little bit more deeper. Uh, so it will give us a chance to know each person a little bit more. So um, I I liked it. I enjoyed it. Thank you very much. So um, we we can end up with hot seat today. So uh, thank you guys and uh, thank you for your time. Thank you on the net for the thank hot you. questions and hot answers. So let's end up with today. Okay, thank you.